Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you'll be my patient who is a semi-retired elementary school English teacher. She used to wear a lot of high heels and she's paying for it now with pain and aches of her feet. Let's see how I can help her thick, long nails and painful calluses. Okay, we have Joan here. Hi, Joan. Hi. How are you doing? Okay, okay, good. So we have we have these nail. Anything painful right now? You said these calluses are a little bit painful. Uh, have some not down here. Right now. Not right now. Not okay. Right now. Okay. When I I do have trouble walking on anything but but flats now. Oh, I know. You and my feet hurt, and I I know feel like I'm gonna fall. I know you 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 want you told me you used to wear high heels all the time, right? Yes. It's just look cute, and I'm sure you look cute, right? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it on this camera, but Joan is absolutely beautiful. Aww. I think, you, were you like a pageant girl or something? Nope. Were you ever in the, any of that? I can, nope, I can tell. I wasn't, wasn't into that. Oh, you weren't into that, but you could have been. Oh, thank you. People told you, right? Just tell me the truth. <laughs> Back then, yeah. They did, right? I can tell. Uh, I can tell. Too bad I can't show the face, but I can tell. <laughs> right? Well, thank you. Yes. So, wh where, are you, where are you going with your high heels back then? Tell, tell uh, me. I tell. worked. I w worked when I was in high school. I worked during the summers for my uncle's office. And mm -hmm. I... I'm, Grew up in New York, and oh, you're from New York. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you have to look good. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> like like a corporate. Right. Did you look corporate? Uh, when I worked in a corporation, I tried. Oh, did it? Oh, you you work at a uh, different corporation? Well, I, my uncle's corporation. Oh, I see. During the summer. Oh. No. What kind of what kind of um, company was it? It was a company that owned. The Brandt Theaters in New York. Oh. Uh, movie wow. theaters. Uh-huh. Big chain, right? Yeah. And I think they also owned one of the subways. Is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good company to work at. Well, I was, during the summer, I was a gopher. <laughs> and... Um, gopher? Yeah, I What's went a gopher? for anything, a, a delivery person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and... Uh, a switchboard operator. Oh, is that right? They taught oh. me how to run a switchboard. Oh, I see. I was fifteen. Oh, you were fifteen. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. And then, and then, what happened? Then I went back to school in the fall. Uh huh. What did you study? What kind of? Uh, well, then it was just high, an academic course. Uh huh. Uh, I'm a school teacher, a retired school. Oh, is that right? Teacher. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Wow, okay. So what did you teach? I taught for LA Unified. I taught uh, elementary school and adult ed. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. Uh, hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word high heels in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Those are cute little ones, huh? Yeah, I love kids. Yeah, you like kids, yeah. So what, what grade were you teaching? Fourth and fifth grade in the last number of years. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're still cute, huh? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> they still, they think they're grown up and they still cry. With... Right, something happens, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's great. And when did you retire? In 2009. Oh, wow. A long time ago. Do you miss it? Well, I went back. I mean, as a sub. So oh, I, you did? Okay. Yeah, I'm still a few days a week subbing. Oh, you're still subbing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. For elementary? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, you got to keep working, huh? You yeah. Keep, keeps you young. That's, I think so. Yeah. If you're doing something you like, then it keeps you Absolutely, young. Absolutely, yeah. Teaching is such a great thing to do. I love teaching. Any Have chance you taught? I... No, not, yeah, well, yes, I, I did a lot of teaching, like, when I was in college, I went back to my high school and taught geometry. Oh. 
Yeah. yeah. And when I was in college, I taught uh, martial arts. I'm a, I was a martial artist. Oh. So I taught martial arts. And from there, I, you know, I did a lot of Sunday school teaching in my church, you know. Mm -hmm. So I always enjoy teaching for some reason. And I still like to teach. And then, and, and then I was doing a lot of seminars, actually, because mm -hmm. I like teaching. And then pandemic happened. So I couldn't go teaching anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So I started doing YouTube. Oh. Yeah. So I, I do a lot of teaching and on my YouTube channel, and which is what happened. I'll yeah. look for you on YouTube. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I enjoy teaching a lot, and I understand how amazing it is to teach, especially young people, and then see them grow. And you see a lot of them, right, after they, they grow up? Have you seen any of them oh, after they... they... Used to, yeah. I mean... When I had a regular classroom before I retired, yeah, they, they came back. Mm -hmm. That's exciting to see them go ahead. Yes, I yes, see. I'm sure. Even I've been here a long time, so a lot of my patients who I haven't seen for many, many years, they come and they're all grown up, you know, they used to be little, little people, you know? Yeah. And it's kind of fun to see that, you know? It is. Yeah, so that's great. I'm glad you're still teaching. That's a... It, t teaching is such a gift, you know. You, you, yeah, you learn as much more than you teach. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. that's great. What, what was your favorite subject to teach? Uh, English, reading, and and English for second uh, language learners. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. Oh, okay. So a little bit about these. I know you were asking about these toes are kind of twisting around here. Yeah. These are called hammer toes. Mm -hmm. So as we get older, our toes become kind of, your feet become kind of weak and then your toes start grabbing the ground and then it start mm -hmm. going down. And then instead of going straight down, it kind of going the sideway. Mm -hmm. And then it start hiding underneath the uh, other toes. Mm -hmm. Become a little bit shy. And those are called hammer toes. Does that make it easier to fall? It could, yes, because you're kind of losing stability, you know? Yeah. So it depends what kind of shoes you wear. I'm getting these calluses down here. Depends what kind of shoes you wear. You have to be careful what kind of shoes you wear sometimes. But I've you... been mostly wearing Skechers. Though. Oh, okay, yeah, those are good shoes. But you have a pretty good feet, though. You have a pretty strong feet. Uh, you're not flat-footed or anything, right? Right. So you still have a pretty good strength, so that's not a problem. But yes, you have to be careful what you're wearing. There's another calus right here. Yeah. Okay. Is that hurting a little? Just for a second. Yeah. I think yeah. my daughter is going to come in and see you. Oh, really? Yeah, she's a teacher with LA Unified too. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh. Is she the only teacher? The other teacher in their family, or? Uh, yes, but we have, well, I have a lot of close friends who are teachers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure, yeah. Retired teachers. <laughs> yes, yes. So you all get together still? All your oh, yeah. Friends, yeah? Oh, oh, yeah. Good, good. All right. So I'm going to start grinding it down. Get your nails a little bit, make it look nice. It feels a little bit cool. Let's see alcohol and water. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what they say. It's a little soothing. Because it's nice, a little bit of mist coming out, you know? Yeah. So when did you come out here from New York? Oh, when I was 21. Oh, really? Well, I was raised here till I was nine. Oh. And my family moved back to uh -huh. and I came out of Oh, I see. Wow. And then you started teaching right after? You coming out? Or? I, uh, well, I was a junior secretary for a while uh -huh. and went back to college and uh, mm -hmm. started teaching right after college. Oh. Where'd you go to college? Here in LA? UCLA. Oh, you went to UCLA? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Bruin. Yes. You guys had really good basketball, basketball team, right? Right. Um, I'm Kareem. Kareem. 
things about this. I don't think he was in my graduating class, but he was on campus when I was. And you really? can see him across the campus. He's taller than everybody else. Right, right, <laughs> exactly. Oh, so you were, you were there when he was around? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's great. And then you lived on campus? No, I lived in the apartment. Apartment there, huh? Expensive over there, huh? Um, not back then? Not like it is now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It became so expensive over there. It's expensive all over there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wow. All over California. Wow. You said it's a great school. But I think it's even better now than when I was there. Right, but back then it was good too. It was good. Yeah. yeah. And then you came out of college and then you started teaching pretty quickly from there? Uh, I got hired at a job fair before I graduated. Mm -hmm. And then I went to graduate. Mm. And then how did you move to Long Beach? Well, southern, the area that is north of Long Beach has the most stuff. It's southern. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. And also, yeah, my daughter was eight blocks away from me. Oh, okay. So I have friends out here. I've made groups for months. Wow. It was a growing city. Yes. Right? Yeah. And, and this city... It's a good place to live. Yeah. You got the beach right there and mm -hmm. yeah. little red temperatures. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you've been here a long time in Long Beach. I have. Yeah. 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 Really, uh, I lived in Gallon for a while. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So That's so much better, thank you. Yeah. See? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like this little machine. So it's very good. Well, yes. thank you so much, John, for allowing us to film you today and to just talk about your your career as a, as a teacher. It's wonderful, very nice to... And I hope to nobody the... recognizes me. <laughs> no. I'm sure some, some may, right? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to film you today. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, you always have to deal with the consequences of doing something earlier in your life. In this case, wearing lots of cute high heel shoes when you were young. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.